I'm just gonna take a, a short walk through for you, Brian, on this uh, Phaeton. Um, there's your two slides. Can't really see the color, but it's like, a, there's a taupe in there, black, gray, a little bit of white. Actually, maybe not any white. It's nice though. Super slide down here, slide toppers all the way around. There's your Gerard awning, that's best in the business. Outdoor TV. Okay, this is it. So that's, uh, there's a few differences between the, the sorry, between the Phaeton, which is the second from the top, and the bus, which is the top of the line. They both have cherry cabinets, hardwood, handmade cabinetry. Um, this is a good floor plan because I know you didn't, you said you didn't like the, uh, you like the uh, booth dinette versus the computer workstation, but you can still get four people around that when you extend that table. Uh, that's a air mattress, sofa bed, and this is a jackknife, so it'll, it'll go down flat. Uh, lift TV coming out of here. Like, you're on another level here with the, even going from the from the red to the Phaeton, the 380 big block, that's tons of horses to get you up a hill, even towing. And if you find it's not, you can, you can like I said, reprogram that to, uh, to 450. Porcelain tiles, tons of counter space. This is an all electric coach. So you got induction there, convection microwave, big residential fridge with ice maker. So the reason they call this a computer dinette or computer workstation style dinette is because the, there were times when, you know, they'd have people would carry like desktop computers with them and put them in there. And there was holes above there for the monitor to plugs to go through. So they don't do that anymore. Everybody just, if they're working, they're using a laptop, but the name stuck for whatever reason. Both the captain's chairs swivel, obviously. So you could turn both of these and have a, you know, have a, a, a good amount of people in here. Like chances are, if it's just you and say your wife or whatever, you're there and you're watching TV over here. There's also a TV up there. But if there's people sitting here and here and those two are spawning and being occupied, TV's not on anyway. You're sitting around drinking, shooting the shit. It's uh, it's not something that people typically congregate in a motorhome to to watch TV unless there's a big Jays game on or something. So you got to pull out closet here. You've got the nice spider. This is a Canadian product actually. Chassis batteries are down, so I'm gonna have to start that. In fact, I'm gonna start the generator. Let's see how long that takes to go. Not long, if you can hear that. And this is, it's a cold day here today. So you got your king size bed, east, west configuration. Even for 37 feet, this is a bath and a half model. So you've got that, tons of leg room on either side medicine chest or medicine cabinet you got the tv here lots of your uh, uh media electronics are down there you've got a wardrobe here washer dryer toilet there there's your sink there's me nice big shower with a seat oh man this is four minutes long i gotta cut this out ceiling fan it's a tiffin you just go around you can feel the quality um i'll get this out to you uh if you're not trading your uh what was it endeavor um i've got some flexibility on the price of this one here so uh if you're interested we can start talking numbers if not we can look at uh you know you can buy a you can buy a brand new red 340 with an overhead bunk there um for less money and it'd be brand new full warranty but uh this is uh this is twice the coach for sure